40. Yeah, you can definitely feel the difference between this and the turbo. Like, Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be reviewing a 2023 Mazda CX-5. First and foremost, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Tim Daly Mazda here in Southtown, Utah for giving me some time with this CX-5. I'll include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can check out what they have right now. And by the way, this one is available for sale if you're interested. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time I purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below as well. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a naturally aspirated 2.5 liter four cylinder that goes through a six speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 24 around town and then 30 on the highway, with power outputs being 187 horsepower and then 186 pound feet of torque. Let's go over the front end of the CX5. So, first off, you can see we've got these distinctive lines here on either side of the hood, which look really good and then i guess i rhymed there by accident <laughs> we've got the daytime running lights here and notice with the headlight pretty dang bright we've got our chrome trim here at the bottom which kind of makes like a smiley face with the mazda logo front and center which also actually doubles as a sensor and the grill's all blacked out other than that that's the front end coming around the side here our wheel setup is 225 55 19 in the front and in the rear as well and then you guys can see here with the wheels and you got the silver on the top and then the black below that and i really like the look of these wheels i actually think i like these more than the wheels on the signature which yeah just let that set in for a second anyways you can see here with the front suspension notice with the fender flares right there or fender flare rather i guess i can say fender flares if i show you guys the one in the rear got the bodywork there at the bottom which also matches uh, the fender flares and coloration and then body painted mirror and then you can see with the chrome trim that goes around the window and there's your full side view so here's our key fob we've got the Mazda logo there on the front and then we have our locker unlock and then you guys can see there for our little uh, alarm button but anyways this one has a hydraulic catch so you just got to pick it up and then it'll do the rest of the work by itself and you can see we've got plenty of storage space back here uh, first off spare tire just underneath you've got these latches which throw down the seats so you can see that one is already down and with a seat down i mean it is just absolutely massive from a storage space perspective but even with the seats up it still has plenty of space and then when you're done they do give you this handle which you can grab to just throw it right down finishing things up with the rest of the rear notice we've got that kind of like blacked out element in that part of the spoiler and then down below you can see with the tail lights i think those look really cool from a design perspective cx5 all-wheel drive and then we've got our Sky Active G badge there on the other side. And then I love the exhaust tips on either side. I think those look great as well. And well, that's the rear. Here's a door panel in the rear, which actually looks really nice. You got this nice leather trim here at the top with the stitching, some wood trim there with the silver trim just down below it, and then more leather trim down below with some more contrasted stitching. And I love the look at the door handle. And then yes, we've got plastic covers over the seats, but See, we've got this cool leather trim, nice design, it's perforated in the center. Padding's really nice on it overall. I guess you guys get to see behind the scenes since everything's all wrapped up. Anyways, there's legroom, there's headroom, got a storage pocket right there, and you got some vents in the center. And of course we have our cup holder, armrest, storage space, USB port, whatever you want to call it thing, which, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Let's head to the front. Now here is the front door panel. Notice again with all of the padding and the stitching that goes throughout the wood trim down below that. And here's a quick look at the mirrors. Do blind spot monitoring and the leather trim down below with again all that contrast stitching. All of our window controls and then with the mirror adjustment. And then here's the front seat which will actually move back a little bit so you guys can kind of see it at a better angle. Yes, I understand this one is also all wrapped up. But it has the same design as the seats in the rear. So you guys can kind of see. And the bottom portion is unwrapped, so you can see that even better. We do have memory seat functions here on the side of the seat, and then we've got our power adjustments. Then here's a quick look at the pedal layout. And then we've got our hood latch release, gas cap release, lane departure to turn that off, and then you can see with the vent. And let's pop in. So here is our steering wheel for the CX-5. Really nice leather trim all around. And then notice the darker stitching on the center portion. 
This does have adaptive cruise control. Paddle shifters here on the back of the steering wheel for that six speed automatic. Controls for like the volume controls, radio, voice command controls, all that on that side. Turn signal light stock, windshield wiper stock, and there's the steering wheel. So here's our center gauge cluster. You can see that you've got the three different gauges and uh, yes, I understand we're low on fuel, but <laughs> anyways, you can scroll through some different menus here in the center gauge cluster by pressing the info button, um, but I like to just leave it to be a gauge cluster. Now we do have some different drive modes. We have an off-road mode for the CX-5 now, and then normal, and then a sport. I love how we've got the cool animation there and how it kind of changes the whole look of it, but there you go. So here is the center infotainment system. First off, we pop it in reverse. We do have a backup camera right there. And moving from that to the rest of the infotainment system, now this is not a touchscreen, as you can see. You control everything with a dial, um, which between the shortcut buttons and everything, it's honestly not too difficult uh, to use. So for example, I can like do this to go through like the stations. And then if I'm like, ah, I don't wanna do the radio anymore, boom, home screen button. And then it's like, oh, I wanna go to the navigation. I can press a button for like, it's just, it's pretty easy to use once you figure it out. And then we've got really nice trim here on the dash and then more wood trim as well, the silver trim. Love the look of the vents right there. And then we do have heated seats here for the front. We do have a dual zone climate system. And then we've got charging port right there. Shifter for that six speed automatic transmission. And then our drive mode select is just right next to it. Parking brake and then our auto hold. And then you can see here with the controls for the infotainment system and then our volume control right next to it. A couple of cup holders and then padding right next to it. A bunch of charging ports, which is nice. Then here's the glove box setup, pretty cool. And then, last but not least, we do have a sunroof here at the top. And then we've got our control for the sunroof just right here in front of it. And then of course we have our sunglass holders. A lot of automakers are getting rid of sunglass holders, which is kind of interesting, but there you go. So the window sticker is at a slant, so I'll try to give you guys a good camera view of this. Um, but anyways, 2023 Mazda CX-5. This one is with the premium package in what's called Rhodium White, which I think is a new color for 2023. Um, so, yeah, let me know if you guys like the color. It just looks like white, but with some metallic flake, kind of. Anyways, base MSRP 33000 after all options, $34,270. And, yeah, I guess it's like a very white, white. Let's drive it. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood. Both the mirrors do blind spot monitoring. And throughout the rest of the rear. And well, let's set off. Oh, we are setting off here in this CX-5. Now I just drove a turbo signature right before this. And so I'll be able to give you guys kind of some impressions back to back with a turbo versus non-turbo CX-5. And frankly, like, hey, should you spend the extra $6,000 that the signature costs? Is it worth it? Um, but first setting off feels like it drives pretty much the same now i do have to kind of get my foot into the pedal a little bit more to get it up to move obviously not having nearly as much torque that's a big difference between this and the turbo version is the torque it's all about that torque steering still great though it still has mazda handling dynamics and yeah overall i think they've done a good job with this setup uh-oh, looks like someone got pulled over. No, that's an accident. Never mind. <laughs> that's worse than getting pulled over. Look at that. Look what we have on uh, the Ben Hardy channel today. Someone running into someone else. Good gr in the middle. of. Oh, okay, well, you know what? It do be like that sometimes. People just don't like to pay attention. That looks like a, a fun, fun situation. Sarcasm. But let's keep getting up and moving. Yes, yeah, so the sport mode definitely keeps it in the lower gear and kind of, yeah, that makes sense. Ride quality is really good. That's one thing I do like about the CX-5. It's very comfortable. It has this, like luxury car ride quality to it. And the steering is just so precise. Like they've done a really good job with the steering to make it feel precise and sporty. Yeah, you can definitely feel the difference between this and the turbo like with the acceleration like the turbo is just like effortless speed just boom whereas this yeah you definitely you definitely have to get into it a little bit more which i mean it's okay it's kind of what people expect and you guys gotta remember i'm at like 4500 feet elevation so turbocharged engines are king at high elevation 
And so yeah, let's kind of sum things up here with this CX-5. So I think this looks good. Now the signature has like the body painted fender flares, which definitely make it look a little bit prettier. Uh, but I still think this is a really good looking crossover on the outside. Interior is really close, honestly. Uh, now the seats aren't nearly as nice, but they're still really nice. Um, they don't have the air conditioned seat function. Um, some of this trim isn't as nice, but most of it's pretty much the same. So unless you want that turbocharged engine, I'd say that this is this is worth getting and saving the extra $6,000 over a signature because you get most of the luxury features and you know, unless you really want that power. Um, now there is the turbo model um, between this and the signature. I would rather just go straight up to the signature. I know that sounds crazy, but like $6,000 is a lot of money, but at the same time, if you're gonna spend, you know, an extra whatever, it's like three thousand dollars for the turbo, you might as well spend another three thousand dollars, get the signature, get all the features. So, this is a great package that I think is gonna work for most people. But if you want a little bit more power, then yeah, the signature's it, it's it's got a little bit extra. That's it's fun. That's gonna sum things up for our video with this CX-5. Again, a huge shout out, thank you to the Tim Daly Mazda here in Southland, Utah, for giving me some time with the CX-5. Check out the intro in the description down below. I will see you.